<laughs> Are you in my district? Yes, I am. All right, Good. okay. My son, who has a four-year teaching degree, yep. had to take a part-time job, actually a full-time job, at a school district in Des Moines, was making more than minimum wage, still couldn't afford to buy health care insurance through the school, so he took the affordable care. He took it at $75 a month. <coughs> that kid had. What was his deductible? Huh? What was his deductible? Actually, he didn't use the deductible, but all the doctor visits and everything else, he was only paying $25 a time to go, which is the okay. same as I pay on my union page. All right, sure. Okay. okay, so that drastically saved him thousands of dollars from going to the doctor, getting tests, or anything else like that. So the Affordable Care Act did make it affordable for some of these people that did work 40 hours a week. You're talking about Obamacare now? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, was the, that was the only Who cares what it's called? Insurance. If he would have went to get it through an agent or someplace else, it would have been four or five hundred dollars a month. Okay. And you're only making thirteen dollars an hour as a teacher's associate or as a special ed associate, then he he couldn't afford it. Yeah. But the fact is that those people that are that are that have minimum skills are kind of stuck in minimum wage jobs until they build their skills and, and become more of a value to their employer. They're stuck in a They're stuck in a thirty hour week. He works with a kid that nobody would work with. That's a lot of value. I am good to agree with you there. Yeah, that's enough. I'm very familiar with the best friends. I guarantee you. Uh, Josh, did you have a comment? <coughs> yeah, you guys want facts. My family owns multiple businesses, and when you guys sit there and talk about Affordable Health Care Act, Obamacare, not with the whole 30 hours that Ralph was explaining, we had to watch our employees, our part-time employees now. We never had to do that before because we didn't have to worry about do we have to give them insurance, which is a huge cost to us in the private sector? Oh. Our insurance went up by 23% the last two years to where it's killing our small business because of the quote-unquote affordable health care act, which we were promised to be able to keep our insurance the same, which we got dropped. We had to change our insurance. Okay, you guys have facts. There's some facts. Let me, let me move on to another question. It's a public forum.